Hello YouTube, welcome to part number two of game four for the human team. This is the part where we analyze the gameplay and we look over um, all my decisions, all my plays, whether it might have been the right thing, if there were any alternatives. Um, you know the you know the deal by now, I'm hoping. Um, so again, once again, if you have any comments or any suggestions, please do leave them below. If you missed the gameplay part of the this this particular game, uh, there'll be a link up above. But without further ado, let's jump into the game. So um, they got to pick whether we uh, whether they kick or receive, and it is currently snowing. Um, so they actually chose to receive, which I was a little bit surprised at um, in the beginning. Um, and our opponent did come in and explain later um, that they didn't think it would matter too much because they weren't planning on doing too much passing. I think that's what they said. Um, so I set off, I set up, sorry, in a kind of like a chevron style because you've got the werewolf. Uh, which is fairly speedy and you've got the ghouls so I'm trying to limit their movement possibilities without giving them a surf because obviously frenzy is an absolute pain for that um so cheering fans and prayers to nuffle so um basically what that means is on my team um instead of getting one SPP for passing I now get two SPP so um we do end up using that for our advantage later on so they start off with some hits on the line of scrimmage. I've got two journeymen for this um, game. And they knock over the first two pieces, bring in a zombie for the third. All of them get knocked over, but no armor broken. And the wolf is has been pushed forward a little bit. And I'm, um, I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, that wolf is very, very far forward. Um, and that flesh golem is also very far to the side um it does feel a little bit out of play over here i understand the job that it's doing it's stopping me from just running down here and trying to get the ball or anything like that but it does feel like it's a little bit out of position there um oh dear sorry i didn't <laughs> sorry about that um so for me personally i just i just felt that that was like a good advantage for me because the flesh golems over here sorry i didn't mean to let it do that um so because the flesh golems are over here i mean there is the side steppers here um so it isn't the easiest to go this way but because this is closed off to us and they're only movement four pushing hang on where's my pen where's my pen pushing this way feels a lot more feasible especially because um you know there's a zombie here so if i can get that out of the way then we can push past pretty easily and hopefully start to put pressure on the back uh the back section of the of the layout layout is that the word i'm not sure what i'm saying anymore um but yeah so that's what my thought process was at this point so we blitz away this zombie we get them both down so it goes down and then I keep running past and start moving around the pressure on. Um, but obviously I don't want to completely ignore that this pressure is here as well. So my idea, I'll let that race just do its movement. My idea is to kind of give them that much to work with. So I've got control of this area. I've got my two players here um and a player here it doesn't matter too much if that player is is um is knocked away um because it's still there's still no easy way for them to get all their players around that player that that's the idea right so i've got this shape going on that was a very low, loud motorbike i do apologize <laughs> um so yeah so the this side is is not like the most secure from me um, but basically it's to stop them from moving forward. There's no, there's a little bit of a gap over here, but they're not getting, say, this zombie all the way down there, right? That's 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 the plan. That is the plan here, is, is to just basically go, I know you want to move forward, but it's not going to happen. So, yeah. 
So they blitz uh, my blitzer, they get both down, so it is just a high five. Um, so that puts pressure on them to try and push through somewhere else because this is still an issue for them. Uh, the wolf is also based up uh, by my loner piece, so the wolf is not in the greatest position either. They've got to try and either hit that player or dodge him out. And they've now brought the flesh golem in. So it wasn't like, to be fair, it being over there wasn't too far out of play. Um, they go for the hit with a zombie. I thought that was the wolf for a second and I thought that was um, a bit of a scary thing for them, but it wasn't, it was the zombie and they dodge it back. Okay, turn number two. So they are now quite condensed in one in one area pretty much so my thought what i am thinking right now we stand this up we stand this up okay that puts pressure on that zombie and that golem this is already in pressure here um and we can potentially blitz it or um put in an assist and then just hit it there which i think is probably the better choice um then we've got these two that can start putting pressure, probably not on the flesh goal, and we probably don't actually want to put that on there. Because of the stand firm, we can't move them around very much. Um, we could probably put a bit of pressure here, maybe put the the lino, uh, the, the, what is the word? Blah, blah, blah. Journeyman, that's the one. Um, to then do a blitz but again stand firm doesn't mean that's necessarily going to move and then if I get stuck there I mean even whether I'm there or there that's still um, tagging me so it's not the greatest to have my uh, blitzer there um, but yeah I'm, I'm just looking at all these different um, options sorry for um my for where i can apply pressure um chat have we seen anything that i might have missed um obviously this blitzer over here is also in a bit of trouble because it's got one two three players on it two of them having blocks so that's not great um so we need to probably do something about this as well i don't think it's about going round anymore i think that time has passed the pressure does not need to be put on this side because they're already trying to deal with it so just maybe dodging out and then coming back down here probably there so we've got this corner like wall going on again so in a containment phase makes make them work for any progress yeah basically basically just trying to stop them from moving forward sideways so we bring that in take that hit And that up bring that in got a blitz there i do i blitz there i think because we wanted to put early pressure on and put a uh, player not necessarily next to the ball but near the ball at the very least um so yeah we really bring in um the players now start to apply a little bit of pressure up here um their block pieces can come over there but they're currently tight i think i do dodge yeah because it's better for him to be on the floor than um not but i i re-roll that dodge um i'm not quite sure why i re-rolled the dodge i don't know if it would have been better to have not have done or not um but yeah so they they are starting to bring players over and and start to come down the sideline a little bit which um is better for me uh for them to be doing because it gives me more options they roll a, a both down which is very unfortunate for the flesh golem use a re-roll and they get a pow so that's one of the journeymen down i think he's all right Pause, 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 pause before we do anything else. Right. So this is now the situation that we're in. These two are now a little bit far away. Can't come 
to where the ball where things are happening with the ball however could potentially come in support with some blocks down here um so i think if we tag if we put you there stand that up i think we've got it is a dauntless hit um but that's fine just take that hit there then that frees up the guard to be able to go in and do something different um i don't think we need to worry about the flesh golems at this point i think the flesh golems are actually um they're not really able to help the ball um so it's not something i need to worry too much about um bring some players down in fact probably oh oh dear me sorry uh bring down the linemen so the pro player and then blitz the white it does have sidestep but it doesn't have guard so the sidestep is fine um as it as i can still like I can still position myself to it's not going to cause a big issue of of it having guard and then putting itself in and, and supporting a different block like that's not going to happen here so i think blitzing the white uh the wraith sorry i've been calling them whites haven't i the wraith um isn't the worst idea here because we've stopped them from coming this way they're now going to try and go this way so we might as well just stop them this way as well because then they're going to have to go back this way and it's it's going to be a back and forth which i can for the majority of it keep up they've only got um one movement eight player um two movement seven players and the race some movement six and everything else is movement four bye strawberry thank you for joining oh thank you I'm hoping I am hoping that these videos are useful. Please let me know if you are finding these um analysis videos useful. Um I you know, I started this series as a, as a way of like trying to improve my own game and hopefully helping some others. Um if there's something else you would you would like to see me include, also let me know. Um and I will try see if it's possible for me to do so um but yeah quick 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 aside <laughs> um so yeah i think i think going for the wraith is probably the best idea here because we can easily get the blocks on the zombies um probably don't want to be going for the the flesh golems really um but yeah we've got a good amount of like spread out pressure so yeah let's see what i do yeah i bring the i bring the pro player in yeah to assist it's a bit hard sometimes to see where the uh, line falls. Um, so I actually bring two assists. I, so I do this hit first. I think because I want to put the guard in. Yeah, so I, I, I put the guard in and then go for the blitz. So we only get the push, so it gets to choose where it goes. And that's the best square for it because then it's not um, tagged. Not tagged by anyone. Um, so here, what I am attempting to do is um, break up their team a little bit. So I've got a player there and a player there um, and this player here. I think these two were stunned. So I'm trying to stop them from being able to easily get back to help their team. Um, so they dodge, they go around with the wolf and I, yep, they go around with the ghoul as well. Um, So because I've left this player back here, they're really having to go right around me to get that. Um, and there's no easy path for them. Um, so they then blitz my Dauntless player. I think to help them get a few more players around. yeah their teams so my, my goal basically was break up this team a little bit um and try and isolate some players so this wraith is now very is, is now fairly isolated from the rest of the team um and is going to struggle um to get back 
over to the rest of the team. Ooh, let's pause there. So, we've now got a bit of a staggered sort of fence here. Um, I mean, that's not really part of the defense at the moment, and that's not quite. Um, so that's kind of what I'm, I'm aiming for. These two are, have done their job, so they can be brought back round, really. They need to be back over here somewhere. Um, was it? Oh, I keep forgetting their movement. I think it's... So one, two, three, four, five, six. Easily. Four, five, six. Yeah, can easily get back into the middle section of the, of the pitch. They don't have to worry too much about... Um, about like dodging or anything like that um and then you've got this here which you don't need this whole thing you can probably deal with uh the majority of this pretty quickly in fact if you pop that in there so you don't even bring that round you can then bring these round um the support and stuff so there's 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 a couple of different options here in terms of like where we go and what we do um and this might need some help one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can get the pro player up to help this player here if you really want to. Um, I don't know if it's worth necessarily doing that. Um, because this... I don't know, it might be. Um, you could also, like, if, you think, if you're feeling brave, you could try and dodge out and, like, blitz. That is another... There's another thing you could do potentially even on the wolf hasn't got block or dodge so like it's got three ways of going down um but yeah there's a couple of different options here depending on like what you're thinking and feeling at this point um so let's see where i go with this so i stand up my players first safe moves first i bring the pro player in here and then i bring the thrower over there take this block I don't even like consider that um, and because I blitzed I was able to move the guard player afterwards and I think that's what I wanted to do was to be able to move the guard piece so I still maintain these two over this side um, and I maintain my spread out defense and like, almost like a wall um, which is hard for them to break because they don't have any guard so having any way of getting through is not easy the wolf oh no it was with the zombie yeah so the the block player it might it might have been better if i had gone to rescue it um but i'm feeling pretty confident with the defense that i've got going on around here um so much so that i take on one of the flesh golems and i do take it down i should have paused so we could have a look at this first um let's have a little look so i've done i've done that now so that's that's now been done um there's potentially i mean it's hard it's not the easiest and that's a loner as well put that there i know you don't even have to put that there because that's just a one dice on that but even if you do get that down you've got no way of getting in to hit the ball carrier not without blitzing the wraith first so you, you there's not a, a hit on the ball here really um giraffe could probably be doing with standing up um yeah i'm just trying to think what would the blitz here be if you're feeling brave that flesh golem maybe put that there blitz three four five hit see if you can do anything with it probably not um but yeah let's see i do i go for the flesh golem oh that just stood up that so it wouldn't be a free hit 
Yeah, so I just reinforce this, then I go for the hit. Yeah, don't get down. But now I think I've overextended a little bit on this side, so this side is now a lot easier for them to run down. So yeah, I think I think going for the flesh golem was not the right idea. Because it's just it's just giving them loads of space um, to try and go. So we've got loads of shapes here that we could play around with and potentially do something with. Um, in fact, we've even, well, no, it's a side step, so we don't really have a shape there. Oh dear. Pause, 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 pause. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, right. So I did pick that up um, because then we've got hits on this um and i've got more than one hit so even if i take that and don't get it down i then got that but i don't want to be taking too many hits on all of these really um i'm more wanting to get one or two so i can get players out to run around um run these around first okay who would the blitz be on maybe the zombie So you're one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, potentially some or some something along those lines, and get some players around. I don't have a lot though that I can work with. I do go for the for the flesh golem, so I've now got this one free, so I can run it down and tag that up. That can then run round. Yep, had to do the dodge um, to get through, and then we do blitz. Oh, we blitz that one. Yeah. I think the reason we blitz that one is because it's protecting the ball. Um, hit down the wraith, which is nice. Get that over there. And then we go for the other flash golem with the loner. With the loner, yeah. Could have moved this one. Oh, I do. I do move him in. Okay. Uh, left that one because tagging up this zombie is a lot better than trying to hit it. Um, because that could potentially go bad for this player. Uh, he's only got Dauntless, so that doesn't do anything against the zombie. Um, so, yeah, basically, that was the whole point was just, just leave that there. Leave that where it is. Yeah, we do. So... Yeah, Wraith hits... Oh no, the zombie hits my Dauntless player. Knocks it over, but we're okay. Uh, that's the other ghoul. It's not the ball carrying ghoul. So, ball is in the middle here, and they've protected against this side, um, but I think this side is where I really want to be, because I can just go for that, really. Um, I think if I hit there and then hit there, that should leave a blitz on that, because uh, I don't want to be dodging them all out, right? That's not going to end well. Um, we've got a hit here if we, if we want it, um, so a free hit could get the that tagging the wolf, but even if it did tag the wolf, it's not going to do a huge amount. So yeah, I think hit that flesh golem, hit that flesh golem, hopefully get them down. If not, just dodge that out and blitz the ball carrier. Um, I think that's the, that's the thing. Probably stand that up and that's... Yeah, we go for that. So I think, I think I was thinking of... of Trying to get the loan around, potentially. Um, 
or tagging the wolf if I wanted to go from that angle. Um, yeah, just trying to in, uh, intrude as much as possible. Yep, so you get both both the flesh columns down. Uh, I did want to go from that angle, so I did have a two dice on it. Yeah. And we get the both down, which is very nice. It is risky because in the snow it's a three plus to rush. Um, so it's not like necessarily the best idea to be trying to do in trying to do these rushes. Um, and then I was just like trying to surround the ball as much as possible. Um, so yeah, I think like going for the one dice could have worked, but I don't think it would have been a good idea. Those knives hurt. Okay, so they come down for the one dice against my loner piece. And was that a dodge or a... Uh, yeah, it was an attempted dodge. Okay. Oh, it was a ghoul who did it. I thought it was a zombie. Um, oh, I forgot to pause and actually like, look at this. Um, okay, well, we're, going, we're, we're obviously going to try and hit the wraith. Um, and I'm trying to give it as many bad positions like near the ball as possible. But I think they go on the ball. Oh, no, they don't. That might be later on. Um, so here, I'm not worried about scoring because it's turn eight. I just want to do a pass because it is a two plus SVP. Um, but we don't, we don't catch it. So... Uh, worth noting, we did we use any of our rerolls? I don't think we'd use many, uh, uh, many if we had. Stop what you're doing. You need to check this out. Have you always wanted to try out a new skill or a new hobby and you've never been able to due to financial reasons? Well, Humble Bundle might be the solution for you as it offers an array of different products ranging from video games to board games to educational content crafting content, all these different things that you could potentially get into. And each week it changes. So if one week you can't find something that you're interested in, you wait a little while, then something you are interested in may come available. Home Bundle may be the site for you as it offers these different products at a really reasonable price. But not only is it a reasonable price, you also get to decide what level you want to go into this hobby at. Do you want to go in with just a couple of products or do you want to go in with the full bundle? Humble Bundle gives you that option. And when you pick that bundle, you also get to decide how much of that money goes towards the Mind Mental Health charity as well. So if you're interested in taking a look at Humble Bundle, the link is in my description down below. Now, back to the video. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're on the wrong side. Right, so. Um, so it is a high kick again. Uh, we don't make the catch though. I don't have my catcher on um, at the moment. Um, so the setup here is, is basically the first golems are on the line so we put the guard in the middle with two block either side and then um, I've put the, the journeyman there but I'm, I do wonder if actually it would have been better for these two who have been there, the, the non-journeyman uh, non um, because if I needed to re-roll something then it would have been a lot easier to do so but anyway. That's very nice. One of the flesh golems KO'd immediately. Unfortunately, the other one did not go the same way. And then they got the zombie down. So I just bring that over to the side and then I um uh I nearly said zoom. <laughs> no blitz. Blitz with the other lineman get an injury which is nice that's two removals already it does regen so it is going to be back um well yeah on another drive 
half. So we go for the ball. And we attempt to pass uh, because the SVP. <laughs> so we managed to get it. I think it goes on the pro player. Um, I mean, it could have potentially gone wrong, but um, I had a reroll on the pass and like skill reroll. And then I had a team reroll. So whether that was the right choice or not, I'm not entirely sure. But I got the SVP for it. So I was just, I was farming SVP at that point. Um, which when you've got the two SVP rule, when you get pressed enough, all, it's sometimes worth like uh, gaming it a little bit. Right. Whoa, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. So um, as, it, as you can see, I've already done this block. I think, oh no, where's that? That's in this square. Okay, so I can't bring anything in to assist with this hit. Um, and obviously you don't want your corners, page corners to be... Um, uh, marked. Can't think of words today. So, um, we do go for the one dice, which thankfully does work out for us because we have block. Um, so, let's have a little look. Um, at this so because obviously this is the flash golem here and we've got a wraith here the wolf is in the middle so the wolf can go anywhere on, on this pitch basically right it can go in any direction because of the movement aid so my thinking is we're all we're nil nil right it's my drive so i think at this point scoring quickly probably isn't the worst thing for us because um they've already got two ko's so they are potential potential to go out to, to stay out potential to come back um but yeah they, they are if i can get one nil up and then defend and not and, and have them not score if i can score this quickly potentially could look at a winning score here um, oh, that's not the... <laughs> I forgot to take the pen off. Yeah, so we go with both down. Um, doesn't do anything, obviously. That was not a dodge. Stop trying to tell me it was a dodge. <laughs> this game, honestly, I swear. Yeah, so we go for the Wraith. That's our biggest threat at the minute. Um... And we're feeling we're feeling confident so we go we don't push it because we've we've gained some good ground but the wolf is still a threat and there wasn't really any there's not really a good place i don't think where we could go to um to keep the ball safe so he's now having to put players in to 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 take in the backside of our um cage to try and open it up okay right pause 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 so um obviously this player is on is, is being marked that's that's something we need to change um these two i've got a flesh golem right there um but over here We've got the wolf. We have got the wraith as well. Um, but again, it's being held up. So, yeah. I think with, with the wraith being next to the ball carrier, because it can sidestep, this is where it can be a problem. If I were to blitz here, that is the square it would probably go into because that would keep it next to the ball. Um... So I can't, re if I, even if I do blitz it, if I just push, I'm going to have to probably re-roll it. I've got three re-rolls available to me. So if I, um, if I want to, it's probably not a bad idea to re-roll this if it doesn't go well. Um, but then also looking at where am I going to be going? Like, is it now worth trying to go this way? Because the wolf's now all over, uh, all the way over here, and it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. You can't even see seven, eight. It it can get to basically anywhere on on this 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 side of the pitch, right? Anywhere I go here, except for these two sections. But even then, it's two rushes, which are threes at this point, which isn't great. But the frenzy could potentially send me flying off the pitch. So there isn't like anywhere good um for me to kind of like there's no safety unless i get that taken out even that's movement six that's movement seven which is too far down now to be able to do anything if i did get through that wouldn't be a problem um but yeah the race would be a problem and the, the wolf would be a problem so it's not really a good thing here in terms of like trying to run away uh we're only on turn 11 as well so So we go for the one dice on the flesh golem. Um, and I go for the dodge and I use the pro. Yeah, I use the pro skill. So that four wasn't actually the dodge roll. That was the pro roll. And then I rolled a three for the dodge. Um, so yeah, we go and hit the, the wolf. We've KO'd it, which is nice. But again, that's, we've relied a lot on some do on, on dodges here to be able to get the, into this situation. Um, yeah, we rolled. We rolled the one. There we go. Um, so yeah, pros, pro can be really useful. I don't know whether I should have used pro then or should have just gone, should have just eaten a team reroll. I think I was lucky. Can you reroll a pro? I can never remember. If you can re-roll pro, I assume not. Um. Oh, what happened? Oh, the, the ghoul dodged as well. They've gone for the loner. Okay, pause. Right, so at this point, we are quite spread apart and they are starting to to um push us against the sideline um but we can potentially get the guard in so if we can get the flesh golem down we bring that in for the assist so i've finally got a two dice on the flesh golem put that in over here or over here probably there um hit that or even hit that, hit that, blit, um, and then blitz that. I wonder if that would be the way around to do it. So you stand those two up as well, obviously. Um, you'd hit that away, and you'd blitz that, hopefully away. It might go there. Um, but even if it goes there, then it's not on the ball carrier anyway, and I can go... Right. Uh, no reroll on a frail pro. I did think I did think that would be the case, but I I seem to remember somebody saying something about being able to reroll pro, but I don't I don't know. Oh, you can so you can roll the you can reroll the failed pro roll. I think because it's a separate roll from the dodge roll. So if I'm doing a dodge roll, I then roll pro. Pro fails, so I reroll the pro but not the dodge and then i can and then i roll and then i roll and then yeah because if you re-roll the if you re if you roll pro and you roll a three or lower you failed the pro roll so you can re-roll the pro you haven't already you haven't re-rolled the dodge at that point so you can re-roll the pro to hopefully re-roll the dodge does that make sense? I think that's what that's what it is. I think it's that way. Because you wouldn't be re-rolling the dodge a third time. It would be you'd be re-rolling the pro. I think, I think, I think, I think. If you if you know the if you know the rule, please do speak up. Um or let us know in the comments. Uh because um I believe that's how it works. I don't use pro on tabletop very often, so I've never had to do it. And obviously, Blood Bowl 3 quite often does these things automatically for you, so you don't have to really think about it. Um, but I think you can re-roll the pro. 
um, if I remember correctly. Um, that's the first time I used the pro uh, skill on that player as well, so yeah. Uh, okay, right, let's see what I do. So I bring that up to hit the stand up. Don't stand that one up. I should have stood that one up. Okay, so I do take it down. Um. Okay, so I take down the zombie. Yep, KO. And then blitz that. Take it down. Cool. Right, let me just check. Um, hang on, let me ask. He can't hear me, he's got his headphones in. Oh. Yes! Can you, can you come up here? I don't want to shout. Can you come up here? I don't want to shout. Oh, okay, fine. Okay. He's cooking, so he'll be up in a second and I'll answer our question. Because if anyone will know, it'll be Day Day. Right, so then I try one last dodge and don't make it. Oop. So, can you reroll a failed pro? What do you mean? Reroll pro? Yes. So you can. Yeah. So I made a dodge, yeah. and I used pro. Pro worked, so it didn't. It doesn't matter. But we were just talking. We were just at, wondering if I had failed the pro roll. So if I hadn't rolled the four, you can I re-roll? Oh, pro is three plus. Was it three plus? Ah. Can you use a team re-roll on the pro? On the pro. Yes. Yes, I thought you could. But you can't because you've attempted pro. Yeah. You couldn't go fine. I'll just use the team re-roll. You can't do that. Yeah, you can't use the team re-roll on the roll you were attempting to use pro on. You can use the team re-roll to re-roll the pro roll. Yeah. Yeah. It does mean if you've got brawler room pro, you can have a fun interaction where you, if you roll a both down and say a push, mm. what you can do is you can actually uh, <laughs> brawler, brawler the both the down and pro see the... what you get. And then if you're not happy with it, but it's still safe, let's say you roll another push, re -roll you, might, the... you might as well pro the other bit. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I, I thought you could. Yeah, because pro it's, itself um, isn't is is a separate role, and you can re-roll basically any role apart from obviously armor and uh, injury. Um, so once it's been re-rolled, um, so so for example, if if I failed the dodge, rode didn't make the pro, re-rolled, made the pro, but then failed to dodge from that. I then can't... Yeah. <laughs> There's layers upon layers with it, and it can get very confusing, but that's like a that's that's something that you get. Um, yeah. Anyway, right, let's continue. <laughs> that was that was a whole side conversation. So, um, my pro players are all the way up here. They attempt a dodge there. Yes, they're blitzing, so they re-rolled their dodge. Uh, they didn't make the rush, so they've used their final reroll on the rush, and they unfortunately, yeah, they rolled a two and then a one. Um, so, whoops, a bit too quick, uh, not not quick enough. So, um, pretty easy here would be to hit that blitz and then score. I think, knowing the result of this, I think I should have scored, and I did um, do the correct thing. Then we then go and blitz the ghoul away. Get it down. Ah. A oh yes, it was a handoff because I wanted to do another catch, uh, passing catch. That was it. I wanted to do one more and I think I should have. I think I should have just run it in. Because at this point, you look at it and you go, "You're pretty secure and pretty solid, so you should be fine." But I 
yeah, so they tried to rush again for the hit. Yes, it was a blitz action, so they were going for the hit again. Right. I should not have done this. This was not what should have been done. I should have moved this over here, moved this over, and done that over here. Because although this worked, that was really risky. It was unnecessarily risky. I should have moved over here so I would have been safer and then brought that in or brought brought this player over here somewhere maybe here to kind of give a round and then yeah then tried all of this I should not have done this now um Again, I'm doing a lot of dodging and I don't think I should have been doing as much dodging as I ended up doing. Um, so I'm trying to keep them tagged. I'm trying to keep them marked up so that they are, they're going to have to do dodges and stuff like that if they have, if they want to move. Um, but yeah, they're bringing, they are bringing in other players now and I really should have scored. Oh, did I pause it? Sorry, I didn't mean. Hey, Dave and Sylveon! Thank you very much for the raid. How are you enjoying Baldur's Gate? Yeah, so they go and, and, and stand next to the ball. So this is now a problem, right? This is now a big, big problem. Because this is a sidestep. But I need to now get players around it. Um, yeah. It rolls. <laughs> You're enjoying it then. That's the main thing. Um, so yeah, I can't get enough players around, and so this was this was my big mistake here. Um, you are enjoying it, very nice. Yeah, so now I've had to dodge out, of try and do the blitz, and I failed the dodge. Um. I think that blitz might have been the better one, um, but it is what it is, and it's what cost me. Um, so yeah, big big thing here is if you're in an advantageous position, and they're very unlikely to score back, they they had loads of KOs, then go for the go for the score, go for it. Um, that was the ball carrier. So now I've got the ball on the floor and I've got sidesteppers next to me. Like, there's not much I can do here. Um, and then that unfortunately bleeds the last free roll. Um, so I go for the, <laughs> I go for the surf because it's the best thing for me to get that player off, uh, like out of the position. Um, so then... Yeah, I get the pow, so I get it down, but they decide to go on the ball to scatter it. Um, and it goes there, which is probably one of the worst places. And we just, we failed the pick up. And I think that was it. That was turn 16. Um, they don't have anyone who can, they can score with, so they just go for hits. And they unfortunately get a, a score both down on the flesh column for idiots. Um, so... Yeah, that was the uh, game number four again with the human team. If you enjoyed that, please do check out my other videos in this series. Um, this team's been through a lot. Uh, we didn't have any deaths this game though, so we actually managed to break the curse of a death per game. But what did you think? Did you have any um, questions, any thoughts, anything like that? Please do put it down in the comments below. Um, and please remember to like and subscribe and I shall see you guys in the next video.